hello welcome to biggie resolve management system video installation in this installation video i'm going to be teaching you how to upload to your cpanel and at the same time connect with your database with no more delay let's dive into our cpanel once you log into your cpanel the next thing to do is to scroll down to where you have a subdomain if you upload to your subdomain and if you're not uploading to your subdomain you can upload directly to your public html but for those who are using subdomain let's click on subdomains so you click on subdomains and once your subdomains come up you select the domain you would like to connect with so here i'm connected with bigidroid.com so under bigidroid.com what subdomain am i creating i'm creating test test dot bigidroid.com so the test the bigidroid.com is the subdomain i'm creating after inputting my um, subdomain title I'm going to click on create so at the moment my document root has been established as test.biggedroid.com so we wait for the initialization to be done so we are is currently um, initializing the data so let's hold on and remain calm while the data is being initialized okay now as you can see it has been created so once it's created just click on go back once you click on go back then you navigate down to where you have the uh, the subdomain so i can't find mine here i'm going to click on next so once you click on next okay now i can see it test.biggedroid.com now the subdomain has been created okay once it's created you can either click from here into the file manager or better still go down again to your seal panel up to your seal panel directory and select file manager now i have selected file manager now file manager is loading now once your file manager is done loading just scroll down scroll down to the subdomain you created earlier so i'm going to be looking for the test.biggedroid.com test.biggedroid.com and this is it now i am in test.bigdo.com as you can see i have no data i have no file in test.bigdo.com now i now for the default folder that comes along with the um with the creation of the subdomain which is cgi iphone bin you can delete it just just um just trash it make it a delete delete the delete the folder and leave the dot well known which is for the ssl so you can leave that or uh, you can leave that behind so once you are done doing that then you click on the upload you click on the upload and navigate to the folder where your file where your zip file is being uh is being uploaded select the zip file once you select the zip file just upload it drop it inside the uh drop inside the inside the upload upload file section once you drop it there it's going to be it's going to be uploading so you have to wait for the upload to be completed okay now our file has been uploaded successfully now let's go back to the folder sorry okay now this is the file here i'm going to click on it and extract it in my directory once the extraction is completed so the next thing to do is to close it once you close it so just head down to uh what is it called to your c panel and navigate to your mysql databases so once you click on mysql databases but before you do anything you open the url where you install the file you open the url where you install the file test dot test dot biggedroid dot com test dot biggedroid biggedroid dot com you open the url oh uh, okay i made a mistake sorry it's supposed to be d okay now i'm loading the url now as you can see it says asset denied for root user so once you are in this directory just um just add forward slash and delete the current parameter add forward slash install install dot php forward slash install dot php so the install does php is going to load like this once it load up like this the next thing to do is to go down to your p to your cpanel my square database 
in this section we are going to create the database for our current project so i'm going to create mysql test biggie mysql test biggie create database mysql test biggie once mysql test biggie is created then i'm going to assign a new user to it test biggie as my user and for the password i'm going to generate a password uh let me generate something cool okay this is great use password so my square test biggie is the user i'm going to create the user once the user is created once the user is created i'm going to assign the user to the database i'm going to assign the user to the database now as you can see add user to database i'm going to be adding test biggie test biggie test biggie test biggie to test biggie database i'm going to hard once i click on hard it's going to load and ask me what privilege i want to give so i'm, I'm going to select all the privilege once you select all the privilege the privilege is going to set once it's set just click on go back once you click on go back now you are done with that so the next thing you have to do now is to copy the name that you use for it test biggie so i'm going to look for the test biggie let me click on next it's not here so click on next now as you can see i have test biggie here so i'm going to copy my test biggie test biggie database and my test biggie user so i'm going to connect it here so now database name test biggie database username test biggie now database password the password i created why why creating the the user which is this one now the url of your project the url that you install it into is what i'm going to add here without yet without any parameter so i'm adding my url my test.biggie.com as the url that i want to specify my site url where i want the installation to be so which is test.biggie.com once that is set now you set your hosting i say your hosting your database host which is local host by default so local host is the database host by default for cpanels so once you set that click on next now it says table imported successfully the database has been installed successfully now add your admin email add your admin username let me add test to my admin username and admin password as also test test so after doing that click on next and it's going to redirect back to the home page as you can see redirected to home page now our installation has been successfully uh, added if you want to go into your admin admin panel for a test so i'm going to click on add log.php add log.php admin login so over here you are going to add your test what you just created just now test your password is test then login now as you can see it's working perfectly it's working perfectly awesome now if you have any issue related to this installation either by um, database issue or any kind of issue just comment down in the section below and i will definitely help you solve the problem okay thank you for purchasing this product see you in my next products